All right, we are here for the first round. And it looks like we're the only one who's here for the first round. Okay. <clears throat> is this a keep? Yeah, this is a keep. We've got all of our colors of mana. We can Bloodstained Mire for a Volcanic Island if we need to forbid something. Um, we have a bomb to, to work our way up to. And uh, while this, this hand, I wouldn't... I don't think it's amazing or anything. Uh, it certainly has some momentum that we can take going forward. Forbid in conjunction with Graveborn Muse can be pretty sweet too. Just because with Graveborn Muse you end up with so many cards. All right, he's using a Grasslands. Let's see if this thing's coming in untapped or tapped. So this is like one of the original fetch lands. They enter the battlefield tapped, but you don't have to pay the one life. He does have to decide if he wants to pay. All right. I guess he did that all of it, all of that during his upkeep. Um, yeah. Your move. So, what we're really hoping for is that he doesn't play like a super resilient threat here. All right, perfect. Save your wayfinder is good value. He's going to get a little bit out of it. But we're going to get to to have uh, have forbid up this turn and um, encounter anything like super bad. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Forbid Grizzlebrand makeshift mannequin it. Anybody? Uh, anyway, and then we can we can slam Graveboard Muse when that comes about too. All right. So we still got a mountain in his hand. I think I don't think that was that mountain, was it? I'm not really sure. I guess. He's just going to ship the turn back. We don't want to draw land, so we're going to play this. Um, yeah, that card's just awkward. I don't even want to play it. I could just pass a turn and just ship back Grizzlebrand, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If I play Boilerworks... then I don't get to leave up Forbid, and I think I just want to leave up Forbid right now. I think I don't even think I want to play Graveborn Muse necessarily. Because I think I just want to Forbid Buyback and then Makeshift Man again for Grizzlebrand at instant speed, try to gain seven life during combat and then draw seven cards and then just, just destroy this guy. I think that's what I'd rather do here, taking this. Hopefully this is something worth forbidding. Yeah, it is. Cast with buyback. Um, I think I'm just going to pitch Grizzlebrand and Boilerworks here. Um, yeah. You, that was a long way to ask for a clan invite, but you can certainly have one. Okay, um, swamp. yeah, I mean, he's not running any counter magic or anything, so I think I'm okay just, just waiting until he attacks. So I'm going to block, hopefully, and uh, gain some life. There's that mountain. Because it because the way with Grizzlebrand, it's like life equals cards, right? I mean, getting that one block or hit in and getting that extra seven life is just massive. He could path this guy or whatever. And if he does, I'm going to – I'm cashing in. I'm, I'm drawing seven, man. We're doing it. Looks like we've got a little shatter pause here from our opponent. It's hard to blame him though. Instant speed grizzle brand during the middle of combat is kind of nasty. I really wish I could leave for bid up and do all this stuff, but yeah, that's that wasn't gonna happen. All 
All right, are we resolving? What's going on? We are. All right, so let's see if he has a way. I mean, it's, it's just anything. Yeah, burst lightning will do it too. So draw seven. Good. Okay, so we're going to go to six here, and hopefully he doesn't have enough burn to finish us off. That's kind of the situation that we're in here, which, yeah, that's yeah, totally fine. If he plays a creature here, uh, I'll have to make a decision. I'll probably have to just terminate something. Ooh, that's really bad. Jeez. Ouch. Yeah, we're just dead. Well, no, we're not. He suspended Rift Bolt, so we're actually not just dead here. We are quite lively. Um, although we're not in a very good spot. He's got two cards in hand, and he apparently values burn very highly, so that could get really sketchy for us. Um, so what I really would like to do is try to get Grizzlebrand back again. I have to leave Forbid up to hit this, so that, that must happen. And I need to get a blocker or terminate this guy. So I think I'm just going to have to terminate. Terminate and then just forbid the uh, forbid the Rift Bolt and hope he doesn't have like a haster. So let's terminate right now because we're going to be discarding anyway. And then uh, ship the turn. So this guy can go away. This guy can go away. Oops, I probably should have just kept the swamp. Um, I'm not going to want to, probably not going to want to pay for either of these. So those are, those are going to go away also. Um, we have a lot of ways to get cards back in our hand. So we're not really worried about that. We're just worried about basically not dying here. Um, so I'm going to forbid and I am going to pay the buyback as well. That, that, that means that he's got to find a haste or a burn spell like now. Which he, he could. I mean, this is a fairly sketchy spot. So we're going to ditch this and this, I think. All right. Give me your worst. All right. A Johnny Vengeant will do it. Okay. That's okay. I think we have a perfectly fine matchup here. Um, I'm not that worried. I'm going to bring in Blightning here. Uh, we saw a Planeswalker from him, and Blightning is absolutely devastating versus Planeswalkers. Also, it can just clear out random stuff that he keeps around in his hand. But otherwise, I think we're looking pretty good here. I don't know how good Liliana Vess is going to be. I think I like this better. I think I like Blightning a little better here. Spellskite is going to be excellent versus him. Yes, I would like to play first. Good. Seems totally fine. Um, I could get Boiler Works down and then just instantly Blightning or Forbidden Alchemy. I mean, I can do it either way. Yeah, I think I'll just wait. With this, I can Blightning or Alchemy anyway. Yeah, that's fine. All right, there's a Rainforest. Um... Don't think I want to blinding him right now. I think I just want to alchemy here. Yeah, I think I just want to alchemy and, and dig around and see what we find. I mean, sometimes you find a reanimation piece and a fatty to ditch and you're just really happy and sometimes you don't. Um, Yeah, that thing doesn't matter. It is annoying though. And he does, there's another haste card he could have had to kill me. So that's pretty bad. Yep, you got it. All right, so let's alchemy. All right, so this guy, we can bring him on our hand if we just want to cycle something away. But if he's in our if he's in our yard, we can leave him in there anyway. 
Uh, Maze of Ith seems pretty sweet versus him. Niv Mizzet, I don't think we're going to need, and it's kind of a few turns away anyway. So I think I'm going to take Maze. I can Blightning him and play Maze of Ith and then take no damage. Maze is good versus both of these things too, so I'm going to take Maze of Ith and then pitch value guys into the yard anyway. Ooh, there's an it Charm, so that'll take this thing down as well, which is which is very handy. Um, awkward, though. No, I can leave this up. So i got to make a decision here on what I want to do. If I just want to it Charm Chandra's Phoenix, that's fine. Like, even if he burns me, he has to just throw it at my face. He's got a lot of stuff he needs to take care of otherwise. I could just also just play Maze of Ith and Protect and just keep that thing off my back. But then I'm kind of falling behind on lands, and I run a hit Consecrated Sphinx at some point and just bury him. Um, if I play Is It Boiler Works, I'll have two, three, four, and then five. So next turn I can Moldrift, and then the next turn after that I can Sphinx him, which is pretty good. So I think I just play this and probably just Is It Charm that. That makes sense. He can get it back whenever. So I, I, I'm best suited to do that after he's already in attacks anyway. Um, I think I'm going to blinding him next turn if I don't mole drift. So I'm going to play Boiler Works. I don't think that there's a spell that I want to cast, you know, to, that would make me want to tap a mana first. Hopefully we don't get boned on that by him killing it with something. Ugh, that would suck. No acidic slime. Wolfier Silverheart. Okay, so when he goes to pair up, then we is it charm that guy? Yeah, that seems fine. So this way we take no damage this turn. And he has a 4-4, but next turn we're going to take a complete beating here, so that's really brutal. Um, so I guess we need to play Maze of Ith. I was hoping not to, but I think we just kind of have to now. So if we play Maze of Ith, then I can just Blightning him this turn instead. So let's see what he has to throw away. We're clearing out half of his hand, which is good. Ooh, geez, a burst lightning and a big Garrick. Man, his hand must be insane. All right, play Maze. There you go. So we're going to Maze of Ith Wolf here because he's going to play something and pair it up. I guess he could just activate this ravine if he wanted to. Oh, Johnny Vengeance? Uh, yeah, so we did kind of get two for one there, which sucks. But eh, we're not taking any damage this turn, so that's nice. Um, could just mole drifter here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna mole drifter here. Uh, that's pretty good. That'll eventually work on that. We're a little land heavy here, of course, but <clears throat> eventually we'll get this Consecrated Sphinx down, and we're going to be able to keep a Johnny Vengeance in check. Yeah, so we're going to take some damage from this thing, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, that one. Don't want to give him a free mana here. Ooh, Grim Monolith, too. Don't think we can quite do Grim Monolith yet. Actually, can we? One, two, make three, and then, no, not quite yet. Because we can't, I, I want a Stagger Shock here. And if I use Grim Monolith for Stagger Shock, then I'm just dirtling around trying to 
untap monolith forever. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Huntmaster, you say. So he's going to make his, his Huntmaster huge so that I can't stagger shock it. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie. Still good on life total for us, but... Did that. Yes. All right, get me out of this thing, Sphinx Daddy. What? You can actually kill it? No, you can't. All right. Yes, I would love to. There's what we were hoping for. Damnation. That's a good start. It's a very good start here. Riftwing Cloud Skate. Pretty decent, too. Wow. That is aggressive. So are you going to kill your Ajani? Oh, that's awesome. It kind of sucks because we take eight here, but he's down to one card left. He doesn't have enough to activate this thing. All right. This could be a lot worse. We get to damnation him. And we're not quite dead because we're going to take four here. If we draw a spell here, that'd be sweet. Ooh, makeshift mannequin. What do we have? This could be very good for us. We can make shift mannequin back Niv Mizzet or Consecrated Sphinx and just draw more cards. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, especially because I believe, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can make shift mannequin and damnation here, which is really nice. Right? One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, yeah. And this is black for the makeshift mannequin. So let's lead off with this little number. And then the question is, so if he attacks with this, it's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I think, we st I think we just get Consecrated Sphinx. I think we do. Because if we just get Consecrated Sphinx, then we can block this thing and draw two cards. I have to do it now or yeah, I have to do it now though if I'm going to do that. It's risky. If I get Niv Mizzet, then he attacks and I I I don't literally have to block, but I pretty much have to block. But I would kill his raging ravine and have him with one card in hand and I would have no way to draw cards currently, but I'd have a Riftwing Cloud Skate in my pocket and he'd be top decking. I'd be at six, though. That's not too bad either. Although I do have Forbidden Alchemy coming up as well. And if I do the uh, Consecrated Sphinx play, I get to draw two cards, block, draw another card, and draw another two cards. So, like, I should be able to find a way to get put something in the way of this. So I'm going to go for that. Oh, yeah, plus, what am I talking about? I have Maze of Ith this whole time anyway. Yeah, I'm just being dumb. All right, so let's get Consecrated Sphinx back. And hope he doesn't kill it. Yeah, it looks like he is going to kill it. Oh, no, he's got a Restoration Angel. That's great. And he scooped. All right. So Maze of Ith, the card I forgot about for a minute, but uh, <laughs> it does a really good job there. And keeping us alive. We didn't see anything for Torch Fiend. I definitely don't want Wheel of Fortune against a, a deck like his. All right. Yeah, I like our I like our changes from before. We'll just keep with it. So 
See if we cannot come away with a victory here. All right, is this a keeper? Probably. Yeah, it's not the best hand ever, but it's fine. His deck doesn't seem particularly fast either. We do have the Blightning again if he if he goes for something crazy. And uh, hopefully we can get some Forbid stuff going, though right now Forbid's just a counterspell. It's not even that good. Uh, let's get this Steam Vents here so that I don't draw it. Ooh, a Terminate? That's nice. And this is going to get a uh, Volcanic Island. All right, he's got a Birds of Paradise here. Now, I could get really aggressive and terminate that thing. He's missed a land drop. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to do that. Because I think this is going to keep him off of his lands for a long time, and I'm going to have Forbid sitting around, too. Ooh, and now i got a Shriek Moth for a backup plan. Yeah, this seems really good. I wonder if I just want to evoke Moldrifter right now. No, I guess there's no real rush. I can just hard cast it when I need to. It does work. All right, he hit a Sacred Foundry, but he didn't want to play anything. What does this guy do? Oh, I can cycle him now. So I cycle him, and he goes in my yard, and then I can pay one in black and discard something to get him back. Um, I think I'm just going to cycle him. I just don't want him to cast like a Johnny here or something just stupid. Any creature he casts, I don't really care about. Uh, Huntmaster, actually, maybe I do. No, I can just Shriek Ma. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's cycle this guy. Boop. Um, I could leave for bit up as well, but nah. Kill that. I could evoke and then leave what's it called up, but I think this is better. And I'll, I'll snap trade this off, too. I actually want this in my yard, because it's, it's basically a... Ooh, that's not good. Oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, you can. That's very, that's very good, that he, good for us that he attacked with that, because now I can actually makeshift mannequin the thing, because this thing gets nasty. And now we've got Forbidden, Forbidden Alchemy up. Um, this guy, if you haven't played against him, put two cards from a single graveyard on the bottom of their owner's library, and it's a 4-4, four four, so we just get our, our head kicked in by that thing. And uh, I don't care about that, and plus it doesn't do... It, it, uh, we can't counter it anyway. Um, it kind of turns off some of our shenanigans. Like our makeshift mannequin obviously gets just completely horrible if he's doing that. <laughs> All right, so here's a Johnny. So he's going to play a Johnny. He's going to plus him to put him to four. I'm going to untap. I'm going to play. If I draw, if I get a land off of Alchemy, I can play Blightning and Moldrifter in the same turn. Blightning's going to take a Johnny down to one, and Moldrifter threatens to kill it. If it doesn't, then a Johnny can just get completely out of control. I think I'm just going to forbid it. I'm not going to pay the buyback, though, because I like the cards we have. It sucks because I really wanted to use Blightning against his Planeswalker, but it's just one of those ones where, like, I kind of have the tools. Yeah, of course, now I draw that. Uh, five. Evoke you. Oops. Cast you. Land. No. All right. 
So this next turn, I'm going to be Blightning in him. Hopefully he plays a land and a, and a spell. Wolf or Silverheart. Okay. Um... Yeah, that thing's kind of a bear to deal with. Let's start by blightening him, though. So I've still got this Shriek Ma in my yard. <laughs> And I can uh, get him. He brought an ancient grudge. Ugh, that's dirty. It doesn't do anything against us, but he gets to just pitch it into his graveyard basically for free. And yeah, like I said, this guy loves his uh, he loves his burn. So what I can do is I can necromancy for Shriek Ma if I want and just kill Wolfier Silverheart. That, that's that's hard to argue with that. Though I'm kind of hoping he commits something else to the board and I can just damnation him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. I can chump block here. If he just attacks with just this, I'll just take the four. Basically, I'm just going to Forbidden Alchemy this turn is kind of the deal. I'll just take the four here. Sweet. Um. Yeah. My mana's good. Ooh, that's nice too. So he can activate the Raging Ravine to lose that, or he can sack his Wolf or Silverheart. He might have like a Restoration Angel in hand as well. Yeah, I'd actually rather have him kill that, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It's just because when you have Damnation in hand, these become a huge issue because like you use your turn to damnation and then they crack back and just hit you and it's like ugh. All right, play maze they go yeah i think this card really does work overtime in a lot of matchups yeah that's funny how that works it's actually just way better for us all right so we're at 14 and our opponent just suspended a Rift Bolt. I think I still hang on to sh uh, Stagger Shock here, though. Ooh, that's sweet. Jeez. These are good draws. Oh, never mind. He can, he's just going to kill it anyway. Yeah, that sucks. That was dumb. I mean, it is going to happen either way, but I was thinking I could get around that. He might forget, I suppose. Um... This does protect any other thing. Yeah, nah, whatever. That just sucks. It just sucks that he has... So I keep talking about it. It sucks that he has Ancient Grudge. Because he's going to kill my Spell Sky. I mean, I could have held on to it, but I also can just... If he uses it, then I can... Uh, if he, he might forget he has it or whatever. Um, attack here. I think I'm going to abandon the Damnation plan for now. And just start getting him. Which means that I should have done this first. Yeah, I'm playing a little loose here. Oh, he's got Restoration Angel. All right, well, all of a sudden, the, uh, the Damnation plan is, is back in effect as I'm basically going to be chump blocking here. He should probably just kill Riftwing Cloudskate. Oh, he's going to plow. So he did forget. Because he had a, he could just use a green to just kill that thing. He's killing Moldrifter? Does he know this has flying? Why would he kill the one that's tapped? I mean, I I forgot. I, I missed two damage, which...
which realistically won't matter here. But he like that was weird. Ooh, that's a good follow up play. All right. He's going to block. I'm going to wrath. And ship the turn. Civic Wayfinder is good. Is there anything that we want to necromancy next turn, or are we just slamming Nif Mizzet? That's kind of the question here. And we've got we've certainly got a lot of stuff that we could necromancy here, but do we want a stagger shock? No, I don't think so. I don't think we care about that guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna slam Nif Mizzet here. Uh, so colorless blue, red, and I can't quite leave up the correct mana to be able to ping this turn as well. All right, well, not a big deal. So doesn't he have a Devil's Play hanging around here? Two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, he can just kill it? Yeah, he needed to hit that land. Ugh, super annoying. Still in a fine spot, though, of course, because we've got necromancy, but still. Zoop. Yeah, I think I want if miss it here. Um... Don't know why I'm doing this actually. This doesn't make any sense. I'm I was gonna kill a Civic Wayfinder, and then I just realized that like he can't really attack me. Like, I just block. And I might as well just cash these in. So I did the thing where I realized that I made a mistake and I still and I and I decided to stop making the mistake instead of just kind of going along with it and being stupid. So I'm happy about that. Obviously I'm obviously not happy that I made a mistake. Uh yep. Yeah. Hit you, draw a card. Well, is that good? All right, we got there. Got, I played a little loose there. I missed a couple of things that I shouldn't have, but uh, I think I just need a snack. So I'm going to get one, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to play round two.